so here we have the Midland 77810 Ready Rescue. A red sticker means that we tried it and it doesn't work. So I'll go to the stock control computer and we'll see what the status is. Now I am buying a used car from a main dealer at the weekend and chances are we'll pick it up in a few days and it would be useful to have an emergency CB radio so I could talk to the other car who takes me over, whoever that will be. So, um, that's one of the reasons we've dug this out. And what was the other reason? Oh yeah, when we go for the test drive, I'm not interested in IOTRIN and what the car drives, right? Like, what I'm interested in is whether it generates interference. So I said to the garage, be prepared for a member of staff to drive me two miles up the road. I'm going to want to go over a hill and talk to my colleague on a temporary emergency CB radio to see what the interference the car generates is like. And I will have my checkbook with me and if it passes my little test, we buy the car and if it makes a nasty racket, we don't buy the car. So that's why we've dug out the Midland Ready Rescue. Oh, of all the things, the magnetic aerials missing, the very thing that we want to use. How frustrating. So we'll have to use a different magman. Or borrow one out of a different kit. So you've got the cigarette lighter lead blow moulded case. These are made by Max Co Maxon. Uh, what's this one? April 1982. Having had that Maxcom 6E and now this, it's all Maxcom products isn't it? So there we are. I will just open it up. I think you take the knobs off this one. You notice there's no LED display, so it solely has to be on how the knobs are aligned. Oh, there we go. Right, we'll dig out the circuit details and we'll just see where it is on the stock control computer. So it's radio number 253. Okay, so bought it off eBay for £10.50 and we've not tested it except the red sticker says we have tested it and it doesn't work. So we'll see what to believe. Right, we'll go over to the RF workshop. So the first thing I was going to do with the Midland 77810 res Ready Rescue was to power it up, of course. And then we found a black fuse with a beautiful bit of wire wrapped around it. So that's an interesting start, is it not? So that can go in the vertical filing cabinet and we will get a new fuse from stock. Well, it has powered it up. So what we now need to do is to plug it into the test set and to do that we need an adapter. Go and find one. So back on the job, we um, I've made up a little chart of what I think is wherever. I think I've turned up the deviation in one of these about 1982, but that's about all I've ever done. Never seen one in to this kind of uh, degree. So it's not clear from the circuit because this is a scan from 
a photocopy of a photocopy and the clarity just isn't there. Uh, the layout isn't so bad and the other layout isn't so bad. This is from the photocopy I did of an instruction book at the time and then there's a wiring diagram as well. So it's better than nothing. So we're doing the transmit and looking at this it looks like I'll just zoom out it looks like we've got transformer 3 and transformer 4 on the transmit and then onto these couple of coils I'll put the soldering on I'm ready to melt the wax in those and we'll just see what I'll I'll just I've got the other camera switched on and I'll just press picture in picture and there we go and not put my head in the way so we're going to go into transmit which is a matter of pressing that button there Whoa, I didn't realise I've got the um, scanner on the background music system, which is beautifully on this frequency. So 27.79.1.2 is slightly low. We'll adjust that later. And the power is... That's 30 watts, that's 5 watts, that's 4 watts, so it's about 2.9. So let's just see whether we can increase that. There's not a lot I can do about this without getting out of my chair and switching off the background music system. So that's peaked. That's peaked. So we'll just try that one. needs a bit more heat. And it's 38 years old, isn't it, this? There we go. There we go, it's about 3.2. And the other one... Going to transmit. Right, I'm going to go through all those again. We've got to about 3.8. I missed the one down there. You can see on the monitor better than I can. There we go, that's peak. That's peak. Hey, what about that? It's spot on the four, as far as I can see. Spot on. Good. Well, that's brought it up from 2.9, hasn't it? So it was T3, T3, T4, L whatever, I can't, I can't tell, L2 and L5. I don't think that's supposed to be adjustable. No, it's just a core. So because it's an emergency kit, it doesn't have high-low power. It doesn't have an S meter, but it does have deviation. There's two presets. There's RV1, which is down there, just under the foam rubbery bit, which is where the PTT is. And then there's another preset, which is down there somewhere. And I suspect that that one is deviation. 
I'm going to pause the video because I'm going to have to turn off the background music system because of the scanner picking up this frequency. So now when I key up, we shouldn't have all that racket. So I'll get the little oscillator out and I'll put it under the microphone and press transmit. And we have a deviation there of, well, that's 2.5, so it's about 1.9. But I'm just going to do a whistle test. <laughs> Wallow. Yeah, just one that little bit more. That's not easy to get to. I'm just I'm on a slight angle. So press transmit, bring that up to about 2.2, turn off the oscillator and do a quick whistle test. <whistles> Wallow, beautiful, 2.2 .2 to 2.5 just as it should be. So that's the deviation set. So I'll just move the camera over to the frequency counter. So there we are on the frequency counter and the trimmer capacitor, we've got the synthesizer chip just there, we've got the quartz crystal, reference crystal, the 10.24 uh, crystal there and the little red trimmer capacitor is just there. So I'm going to transmit. very slightly low if you remember let's try going clockwise oh it's the right way for once usually it doesn't matter which way I go it'll be the wrong way so we're looking for 2779125 so we're just slightly above crystals drop with age so that's ideal so it's six toggling seven I mean, to be honest, anything from um, 2779121 to 131 is fine. And that, I'll just turn the picture in picture off. That concludes the transmit side of the Midland Ready Rescue 77810. So, We'll do another video and we'll do the receive side of this radio. At the moment, the best it's receiving is about 0 0.6 of a microvolt. It says on the specification 0 0.7 for 20 decibel cyanide. Well, there you go. is 4 watts output. So thank you for watching and join me on the next video when we do the receive side of the Midland Ready Rescue from 1981.